us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 19. 19a, in the answer space below, draw vector AC given that vector AB equals 3, 1, which is in this case a column vector, and BC equals 1, negative 3. So, we need to draw a C. So, AB is given to us. So, AB, if you notice, AB is in one step upward, which is in this one, then three steps to the right, which is the positive. So, we have one, two, three, then up. That's the movement of A to B. Then, we are given that BC is one step to the right, then three steps downward, which is the negative. So, one step to the right, then three steps downward, which is up to here. So, this becomes BC. I can use the blue. So, this is BC. So, this is up to C. Then the question is, we need to draw AC. So AC is just joining the two lines. So I can use the lead one so it is more visible. So AC is this line. So that's AC. So this is AC. So once you do that, you are good to go. Then you get these two marks. Remember, we are just drawing. The question is asking us just to draw. Let us move to question B of 19. The straight line y is equal to half times x plus p passes through the point negative 2 comma 2. Find the coordinates of the y intercept. So find the coordinates of the y intercept. So looking for the coordinates. At what point do we have the y intercept? So we have this point. So if the straight line is passing through that point, it means we have x comma y. So if x comma y Meaning that x is equal to negative 2 when y is equal to 2. So in this equation, it's a line which is passing through here. Then we can substitute to find the value of p. So it means y is equal to half times x plus p, where y is equal to 2 is equal to half times whatever there is x. We are putting negative 2. Even here, this is a positive 2. Then plus P. So it will be 2 is equal to half times negative 2 is negative 1 plus P. Then we solve for P. Then we are going to have 2 plus 1 is equal to P. Therefore, P is equal to 3. So meaning if P is equal to 3, it means we have now the equation Y is equal to half times x plus 3. That's the equation. Now, if that's the equation, we're looking for the intercept of this equation. So, when you're talking about the intercept, you're saying this equation has a positive gradient. So, if this is the case, the gradient is positive. It means when x is equal to 0, which is the y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, 
what will be the value of y so y is equal to 0 plus 3 because your times anything is so y is equal to 3 so this coordinate the coordinate of y intercept so remember there is only y intercept for this equation because this is a straight line equation so this is the x intercept x intercept then this is the y intercept so there's only y intercept which is this one so at this point this is a 3 then this is 0 so at this point you have 3 0 comma 3 the value of x is 0 the value of y is a 3 so this coordinate is 0 comma 3 that's what it means where the equation itself this equation is y is equal to half x plus 3 because what we needed to find is we needed to find the, the p that's why we are given this once we find the p that p itself is the y intercept y intercept so the y intercept is happening at 0 comma 3 so once you do this you are good to go and you get the four marks thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question 20